The hands-on leaks and renders of the Galaxy S25 Ultra are generating a lot of buzz, especially with the changes in design that address one of the common gripes with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, the sharp corners. It seems like Samsung is taking user feedback seriously and making adjustments that will enhance the ergonomics of its flagship device. The Galaxy S25 Ultra's reported dimensions of 162.82 by 77.65 by 8.25 mm suggest a phone that's slightly taller, narrower, and thinner than the S24 Ultra. The slimmed-down design could make it more manageable, despite its large display. For users who struggled with the S24 Ultra's bulk, these adjustments could lead to a better in-hand feel. One of the biggest complaints about the S24 Ultra was the sharp corners digging into the palm, making it uncomfortable to hold for extended periods. The S25 Ultra's rounded corners and flatter sides look like a much-needed improvement for comfort. This should make it easier to grip, even with a large 6.8-inch display, and less fatiguing during long usage sessions. The leaked case images showing the S Pen positioned near the edge also indicate that Samsung is keeping the design practical for Note enthusiasts. For those who use the S Pen regularly, this convenient placement continues to make it easily accessible. I completely agree with your point about the sharp corners on the S24 Ultra being a pain. It's especially noticeable when holding the phone one-handed or trying to use it without a case. If the S25 Ultra truly adopts a design with more rounded corners and a flatter profile, it could be a major win for both usability and comfort. The slight slimming of the phone and the return to a more rounded design language could strike a great balance between keeping the phone premium while making it easier to handle. It's clear that Samsung is refining the overall experience for users who want a large, powerful phone without sacrificing comfort. Of course, as you mentioned, these are still just leaks and dummy units, so it's best to keep some skepticism until the official announcement. Sometimes design details evolve between early dummy models and final production units. But based on the leaks so far, it's looking like the S25 Ultra could offer a refined version of the Ultra experience, balancing power with comfort. If these leaks hold true, the Galaxy S25 Ultra could address a lot of user pain points, especially in terms of comfort. The rounded corners and flatter sides would be a welcome change for those who found the S24 Ultra difficult to use without a case. Add in the possibility of 16GB RAM and other spec improvements, and this could be Samsung's most refined Ultra yet. What do you think about the design changes? Are they enough to make you excited for the S25 Ultra? Or do you think Samsung needs to do more? Let me know your thoughts.